In the previous video, we demonstrated the effect of salinity on the plant growth. Thereby, we got an idea about how saline conditions could weaken the plant growth. This could potentially influence the world food security and biomass production. Therefore, there is an urgent need to look for possible solutions to limit the negative effects of salinity on vegetation and plant growth. In this experiment, we investigated the effect of compost addition on plant growth in saline soils. Hence, we demonstrate to what extent compost addition can mitigate the negative effect of salinity on plant growth and crop production. We did this experiment together with students in our lab. Let us tell you how. In this experiment, in addition to the procedure followed in the previous experiment, we added compost to some of the pots. Two comparisons were made, one for soil with and without salinity, and the other for saline soil with and without compost. The former was used to demonstrate the effect of salinity on the growth of plants, while the latter was used to demonstrate the effect of compost in mitigating the effect of salinity on the plant growth. Saline water was mixed with the soil to create saline conditions, while compost was mixed with the soil for the compost treatments. Common beans and garden cress were used as the plants of interest due to their nutritional value and rapid growth curve respectively. While as beans were grown in small pots, garden cress was grown in trays in order to have a broader growth area and hence a better comparison between the composted and non-composted soils. The methods used in this experiment included mixing compost with the soil and adding soil with and without compost into separate pots for beans and trays for the garden cress. This is followed by introducing salinity to the soil by adding saline water solution into the pots and trays. Afterwards, beans were sown in the pots and garden cress in the trays and their growth was observed for four weeks and two weeks respectively. A marked difference in the plant growth due to compost addition for both cress and beans can be observed. It can be seen that under saline conditions, plant growth is very limited for both beans and the cress. However, in the treatments where compost has been added, the effect of salinity has been largely mitigated. This is more visible in the tray experiment where garden cress was grown in bulk. The trays with composted soil display no effect of salinity when seen in comparison to the saline soil with no compost. Hence, the takeaway of this experiment is that the soil health degradation due to salinity can be mitigated by improving the organic content of the soils. In the next video, we will look at another emerging soil health challenge experienced around the world.